Alex, I guess uh, Coquitlam, Harvard, Colorado, and now here. What's what is it about this sport uh, that enables players to transition so well, and why why might it work here for you in Toronto? Yeah, I mean, I've had a couple different experiences now. Obviously, took a little bit different route than than most most players do, especially coming from Canada. But I thought it was the best route for me, and obviously playing the last couple of years in Colorado, I think that they've prepared me well, and I'm just looking forward to the opportunity here. Tyson had a big role in your first National Hockey League goal. Uh, what's it like to come here with him in terms of help easing that transition as well? Yeah, he makes it so easy. He's been, a, been around this league for a long time. Uh, he's got a lot of respect from guys in the room, guys around the league, and he's just a great, great player and a great person, and it makes this transition for a younger guy like myself a lot easier. Yeah, I guess it's met all, met all my expectations. I mean, it's, it's a great place to play from everyone I've talked to around the league. They say that there's no better place in the league to play than here. And um, we've got a great young team, and I'm just looking forward to it. What's the the least getting in, in Tyson on the back end? Yeah, I think he's just a dynamic offensive player. I think that um, his production speaks for itself. I mean, you've seen what he's done the last few years. He's one of the top point producing defenseman in the league and he's been consistent with that and obviously he's a special player on the power play but five on five he can drive play as well. What about yourself? What can people expect? Yeah um, I, I think that I've got a playmaking aspect to my game but I know that everywhere you go you're going to be playing a different role and I think that I'm someone who who will go out there and, and compete and um, I like to learn and I think that I can help the team in different ways. That's crazy, but how different is it going to be to be able to play 41 games at sea level? I know you get used to it out there, but uh, at least the perspective here of playing in Toronto and what visiting teams had to confront when they went and played Colorado. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to miss the altitude there, that's for sure. But um, I think it's just really for us even, we're traveling so much in and out that we don't really get used to it. I guess we have an advantage because we play there so often, but every time you go to Toronto and Montreal for two days and then you come back and play, you're getting used to it all over again. So it is an advantage, I guess, but I don't think it's as much of an advantage as, as maybe it's made out to be. What's your impression of Mike Babcock been so far? Yeah, he seems like a great coach, obviously very professional. Um, he's had success everywhere he's been. and. Um, just how organized he is, how dialed in and detailed he is, and he j you can just tell the ha how he knows where he wants to, wants to take this team, and he's going to do everything he can to take them there. A competitive the Toronto moment yet in the market or just being around here? Um, I, don't, I don't think so yet. I mean, st still here. It's only been here for a week now, but just getting used to the guys, get to know everyone. It's just such a professional organization, and they treat you so well here that um, there's not much more you can ask for. Growing up in a hockey family like you did with your brothers, how competitive an environment was it back in Vancouver? Yeah, it, w it was competitive. I mean, we're a competitive family. I had two brothers. Um, around the same age and so everything we did it wasn't just hockey we played a bunch of sports when we were younger and I think that that's helped translate into being an athletic family but we were always competing whatever we were doing.